So Craig, why is uh, math and science important? What has it done for you? You know, it, I look at the world today, it's driven by technology, you know, whether it's uh, computers, whether it's smart cell phones, whether it's digital cameras, whether it's the internet, whether it's search engines, everything has its foundation in technology. And, and the basis of that technology is math and science and that understanding. You don't have to be a, you know, a total uh, expert in math and science, but if you're going to work in the high-tech fields, it's absolutely important that you understand what's going on, and that's to have a firm math and science background. Mm -hmm. you know, when I started as a teenager years and years ago, we didn't have computers, we didn't have the internet, mm -hmm. you know, a, a camera was a brownie with film in it and mm -hmm. things of that sort. Uh, I did have a chemistry set, my dad was a chemist, and I, I did used to do experiments and things of that sort, and, and then when I was a teenager and I bought a car, uh, I remember it was a 1949 Ford customized thing, and, mm -hmm. and there was a little spring in the trunk that uh, wasn't quite fitting, so I took it out one day and, and heated it up to kind of bend it, and lo and behold, when I put it back in, it was soft. It wasn't a spring anymore. And I started to wonder, you know, what, what happened when I just heated up this spring and it went from a hard spring-like material to a relatively soft material you could just bend in your hands. And it turns out there are a lot of changes in the microstructure of materials mm -hmm. when you heat them up and cool them down. I started wondering about that, and then I got interested in math and science and engineering.